what's up y'all it's your girl Haley, and i'm back with another video so today i will be doing just a little day vlog with me what i'm doing today but also showing y'all this new hair that i have y'all this wig is bomb when i'm telling y'all i'm telling y'all when y'all see this wig y'all gonna want this wig so make sure y'all follow the people that sent me this wig on instagram youtube facebook everything they got all that i'm gonna put everything about them in the description below but i'm gonna show y'all this wig in a few but just get ready because it's going Oh my god, why I can't never talk? Now, that's because I ain't been doing videos and I don't know how to act in front of the camera. But we starting off our day at Chili's getting something to eat because we starving. I've been hungry since last night. What's up, people? Y'all see, we kind of dressed like similar. You know what I mean? Yeah. and brother. This is your friend, y'all. Well, our friend. B. Um, so. Oh, y'all see, Joey got a haircut? <laughs> this boy look just like Zoe. Whew. What's up, y'all? So, I'm about to do a little Q&A and then get ready with me because I got a few questions. So, and I'm going to tell y'all more about this bomb hair that I got on my head. So, we're about to do a Q&A. One of the main questions I get about the twins is, how do you tell them apart? That's the most annoying question to me. The way I tell them apart, I look at them. <laughs> like, literally, that's how I tell them apart. I'm their mama, y'all. I had them. They was in me. So, just like their daddy. It's not hard to tell, tell them apart because we're their parents. I don't know how many times I got to answer that question to people, but that's how I tell them apart. Another thing, question number two, what are the differences between them? Are they fraternal twins or are they identical twins? So at the beginning, we thought they were fraternal because they were in separate sex. But everybody don't know, because I didn't even know this. I don't even think they taught us this in school that they're um they have four different types of twins so um they have mono something blah blah it's four different types you got to look it up but the type of twins that i had are called die die twins and that's just an abbreviation of the word or whatever you can look it up and die die twins they mean um they're in separate sex, separate placentas, separate everything. Y'all just made me just, y'all, y'all just made me spill. Why did y'all make me do that? Y'all blew me. Why did y'all make me do this? Babe, I ain't doing another video. Ever again. I lied. How I had the camera? Okay, so yeah. They have separate everything, but um, die die twins can either be 50 print, 50, it's 50 50. They could be fraternal or they could be identical. And, and we didn't find that out till they were born. We didn't find out what they were until they were born because they had to um, run tests on the, they had to look at the placentas. And they had to uh, get their DNA to see if they were identical or fraternal. So that's how we found out at birth, like if they were identical or fraternal. But when I went to the high risk doctor, which you have to go to whenever you're having multiple babies, just in case, you know, anything is wrong, ever goes wrong. Thank God nothing went wrong. I had a perfect pregnancy. Um, that's when they told us that they were die die. Because like just a normal ultrasound, they can't tell by that. So that's how we found out that they were die die. So whenever they were born, that's whenever they ran the test, like I said, and stuff like that. And that's when they found out that they were uh, identical twins, which is great. Because I didn't... So another question before I even go into that. People keep on asking me, did you want girls or did you want a girl and boy? Did you want two boys? 
so my thing was I didn't really care what I was having before I even found out I was having twins. I just wanted a healthy baby. You hear me say baby because I thought I was having one baby. But <laughs> yeah. Another question. Um, is it hard having two? It's not. Junior helps a lot. Like my mama help. Our family help. But like when I'm home alone, it could be tiresome. But it's not like every time I go on Instagram, I'm like, oh, you look tired. You look like, shut up. But no, it's not as hard as people think. And I actually thought it would have, like, it. Hmm. I ain't no makeup artist. This is what I do to myself, so don't judge me. But um, I actually thought it would have been hard and stuff like that. But whenever I had them, it's like the mommy instincts, they just kick in. And boom, you know what you're doing. You know your baby cry. Oh, I do. I know both of them. I know what they be crying for. I know if I'm in the other room and somebody start crying, I know who crying. I know what they crying for. I know they doing a bottle, they stomach hurt, you know, anything like that. Mommy instincts kick in real quick. And um, another question. Oh, my God. And this is not even a question. It is a question, but it's also a statement that people always say. Oh, good luck. Because when one twin cry, the other twin cry. How you know? You don't even have twins. So, that's not even true. That is not true at all. And every twin mama I ask, they be like, yeah, that, no. <laughs> but, um, yeah, that's not true, y'all. What else? What's the other question? It was another thing I was about to say. When one twin cried, the other twin cried. I lost my train of thought. Um, it was something about, shoot, can't think of my question. Oh, um, when, what do I do whenever they cry and stuff like that a lot? So, with my kids, whenever they cry a lot and it's like for no reason, like they stomach not hurt and they don't want to eat, they diaper change, all we got to do is put them on the side of each other. And once we do that, Zuri, she the baby. She the baby sister. Zuri start kissing her sister, y'all. It's like they be missing each other. They be we don't separate them though. Like, um, but it's like I might have one and Junior might have one. And he might be in the room, I might be in the living room, something like that. And like they start missing each other. So we just put them on the side of each other. They stop crying instantly and they just love on each other and they just go straight to sleep. Mm-hmm. Like, literally, I'm going to post a picture of her kissing her sister or whatever. But um, they'll hold hands. She'll kiss her sister, you know, stuff like that. And uh, they just stop crying. This camera making me look super white. And I promise. My face is not that white. But, um. Is it coming off? Wow, the lash coming off. Really, Junior? And let's see, my last question. Oh, yeah, okay, how could we tell them apart, you know, us as people that's not their parents and stuff like that? I really don't know because that's y'all. Like, y'all have to figure that out. I really don't know. I could tell you, Zuri is fatter than Zoe, but she's right behind her sister. So it's like she was super small, but she getting fat like her sister. So I don't really know what to tell y'all. Y'all just gonna have to figure it out on y'all own. Cause yeah, they they growing y'all. They was in preemie. Oh, that's another question too. Were they preemie? No, they they were not preemie. They just was little. You would think how big my stomach is, I was gonna have two big old babies. Not even. <laughs> not that was not the case at all. But that's my last question I'm going to do. This was just a short Q&A for some of the main questions that keep getting asked over and over again. So now I'm about to show y'all about this hair. This bomb, bomb, bomb hair. I'm going to give y'all all the details on it because y'all should definitely buy it. Alright, so y'all, I'm about to tell y'all about this hair. I want to read it right from my phone because I don't want to miss nothing. So, first of all, this hair is, like I said, from Eula Hair. It's an HD lace frontal wig. It goes from ear to ear. They have straps and everything on the inside. Y'all, if y'all want to get this or anything from them, my coupon code is NUNU, 
in you in you um this is a 28 inch 13 by 4 undetectable hd lace front wig indian curly 250 percent density which means that it's super thick it looks natural so yeah that's all the info on the wig and i will put everything in the description below so make sure you check it out but um i like this hair i really really do i'm about to show y'all how like at night i put two plaits in it or whatever and then and then i spray it with water and i put mousse on it um yeah this is some real bomb hair y'all it's so thick it's probably tangled because i didn't really comb it out last night but i wore it all yesterday so i could you know give a proper review on it and it's bomb it didn't tangle like you think you would because it's curly hair so yeah i just got some water this is a long wig it's very long i thought it was 30 inches i had to go back and look and see what i got because that's how long it is to say it's like curly and stuff it's long i really like wearing it big so i'm not gonna like soak it because i don't want it to be super wet i want it to stay big but whenever you untangle, the best thing is to do is start from the bottom and then work your way up. I do that with my real hair too. But yeah, this hair is bomb, y'all. And this is how I style it. I wanted to do it while I was doing my little Q&A for y'all. So yeah, I need to put some water in it. This hair is super thick. When um, she was doing my hair yesterday, she was like, oh my God, this is a lot of hair. It really is too. So yeah, I just put mousse on it. And with this wig, since it's a frontal, you can part it wherever you want. You could do half up, half down. You can put it in a ponytail. Like, you can do all that. This is some really bomb hair. They have an Instagram, y'all, YouTube, um, I think Facebook. They have a lot of social networks that you could social medias that you could follow them on. Um, so make sure y'all do that, like I said, because this is some good hair. And don't forget to use my new code. Like, literally, don't forget to use it. So I'm about to do this side and show y'all. All, All right, y'all, check me out. Okay, this hair is bomb. It's like, that's my waist. Like, And what I really like about this unit too, they on the inside of it, they have like combs and straps and stuff. So you can make your wig and how tight you want it. So what I'm about to do is get my straps in the back. During the day, I make it tighter. But like at night when I go to sleep, I unstrap it. Cause I be putting it so, <coughs> oh Lord. I be putting it so tight to where it gives me a headache. <laughs> That's just me though, you don't have to do that but i wish i could have show y'all but yeah it has the straps in it here's one strap and they also have a band on the inside too and then the other strap is where is it i lost it it's somewhere in there i had it last night i just took it off like i said oh i got it right here so yeah i've been making my wig so tight y'all Wondering why my head hurt. I'm like, Junior, I got a headache. It's not going away. That's why, baby, you got that wig so uh, tight on your head. It's not going to go away. But yeah, y'all, I love this unit. This unit is bomb. So, 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 so bomb. Because I'm an island girl. Period. Period. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And make sure y'all get at Eula Hair. And also let me know what y'all want to see next. Because I will be doing more videos. Also with the twins and juniors. So yeah. Thank you for watching.